Hey everyone, Hannah here for Our Drive. Today I want to show you how to create and host a decentralized static website with an Arweave manifest on Our Drive. Whether it is a custom site or an easy to use template or even from an existing portal like WordPress, these files can be easily uploaded to Our Drive and then addressed with a common base path on the permaweb using the power of our read manifests. For this video today, I am going to create a decentralized version of our drive's website hosted on our read. Now our drive site, which you can see here is a WordPress site. So I've used and linked to below a plugin called Simply Static and Simply Static will package up and download all my site assets like my pages, my images, CSS, etc. Um, everything that I'm going to need and have it all ready for me for the next step. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we've got our Rconnect wallet ready. I've linked a video in the description below in case you need to get started with our connect and our drive. Once you have that, we'll go to app.rdrive.io and we'll use our connect to log in. All right, so for this, we're going to want to go to our new button and create a new drive. I'm going to call this drive May 2022 R drive public site. And I need to make sure that I set it to public. Our weave manifests must be public, non-encrypted data in order for the our weave gateways to interpret them. So I'll click create and wait for that to show up. Okay, and now I have my May 2022 R Drive public site drive ready. Now I head back to my new button and I simply upload the, the folder that I got from Simply Static earlier. Now you'll want to make sure that your files are confirmed on the block weave before creating the manifest. This will make sure that everything goes smoothly without any surprises. Now that the assets that make up the R drive site are uploaded and confirmed on the block weave, we can now create the manifest that will tie all of these separate elements together into a decentralized website. As easily as I just uploaded those folders of assets from our drives website, I can now create the manifest. So I head to my new button and go down to the bottom here to create manifest. I'm going to call this our drive public site manifest. And it's just important to note that the naming of your manifest will have no bearing on how the manifest is addressed on the weave, but the right one can be helpful for you to find it later in your drive. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Manifest can either reference entire drives or folders. And here our drive is asking you what folder you want the manifest to reference. We're wanting it to reference the root folder, which is the entire drive. And that's what you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and click create here. Now we just have to click confirm and remember that this is going to cost a tiny amount of AR because a manifest is an Rweave transaction in the form of a file that gets uploaded to the permaweb. The manifest will now be in the drive here at the bottom of the drive. We'll wait for the manifest to confirm on the block weave and here it is. If I preview the manifest file, it will launch a full decentralized version of our drive's website hosted entirely on the permaweb. It's worth noting that sometimes the data will be ready before it's mine. This is due to caching on the gateway. You can always check back later to confirm and make sure that everything worked. It's easy to update parts of your site. You can repeat the process on a case by case basis by using RFS to add file updates to your drive as normal, and then generate a new manifest to capture these changes. Then you're good to go. Static site archiving is also just one of the use cases that manifests have on our weave. Manifests make it possible to host react web applications and aggregate permanent NFT data. 
Below, I've linked to our video on saving NFT images forever on OpenSea, as well as a community member created video, which explains how manifests work when uploading NFTs. Let us know what you thought about this tutorial and how you're using manifests. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.